For Chief Justice Hilario David has served the Supreme Court for more than 15 years, and he's no stranger to disagreements among justices. He says what's happening now in the High Court could be a test for it to emerge as protector of the Constitution. Our Anjo Almario has more. He served the Supreme Court as its head for seven years. Former Chief Justice Hilario David says the High Court adopts a first among equals approach. This means all are equals, regardless of position. So whenever the justices would have differences, there's always a moment of reconciliation. He required justices to attend the flag raising ceremony every Monday. What I did was to have breakfast after the flag ceremony and to suggest to them, uh, we have to show our people that all of us are really serious about the flag ceremony. And eased relations between them after heated deliberations. What I did was, uh, instead of um, us, each one of us giving 200 pesos for our lunch, separate lunch, I decided that we should eat together at lunch time. And then at lunch time, we forget whatever happened during the deliberations. But that's not the case now. As details of Anne Bank sessions are leaked, it's becoming more apparent that some of the justices dislike Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno. 13 of the 15 justices have issued a joint statement stating they wanted Sereno to go on indefinite leave. They hit her media team for their confusing statements, which seriously damaged the judiciary's integrity. The Chief Justice had to apologize. The video, however, says the split could be one of many tests. There are tests, trials for an institution, and this could be one of the trials for the, for the Supreme Court again to come up as uh, the protector of the Constitution, the guardian of the rule of law, and uh, the rights of our people. In Serena's first public appearance since her indefinite leave, she hopes that after her impeachment trial, the court can still be united. I am hopeful that after the impeachment trial, days of renewal for the Supreme Court can still be forged, united by the common desire to serve our people and protect their constitutional rights, especially in these troubled times. But that remains to be seen, especially now that petitions have been filed to render her appointment invalid. Her appointment is null and void, and therefore you cannot impeach an impeachable officer whose appointment is null and void. Serena says she's ready for her impeachment battle, as resigning is not an option. Anjali Mario, CNN Philippines.